The sandcastle, she wants us to work out. Well, when you're a kid, Michelle, you come out and you use a little shovel and you build the sandcastle. When you're a grown up, according to Brenda B, you need a big shovel with two ends on it. And uh, you're not building the sandcastle, you're building the body, right? I am doing that. I'm building a dynasty here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, first off, we got to tell you the last name in Dutch means bread and butter. Bread is that what you butter, said? Yes. And we're burning those off with our we diggity are, here. We are. This is something you were inspired uh, by a trip to the beach. You saw people working. You, your big thing is getting outside no matter what you're doing. But if you're going to be at the beach, you could use your invention here That's to get correct. a workout. That's correct. I'm an outdoor trainer, and I want people to look around their natural environment to implement more movement into their day. And this tool, came about by simply starting to dig a hole one day in the sand. It's a phenomenal workout and I developed a double headed so that we could work both sides of the body simultaneously. As we see the people behind us showing some of the uh, the exercises you can do, you have about a 50 exercise plan that you put people through at your boot camp. Right? I do, I do. Total and body wellness. It is. It starts at the core, mm -hmm. and it is in essence moves that we do kind of in everyday life. Whether it's kayaking, whether it's lifting something, whether it's a push-up. So mm -hmm. it, it's nothing that people have never seen before. Correct. correct? It's reinventing a very old concept. Um, the concept of digging is as old as dirt itself. <laughs> yeah. I want people to take a new, fresh look at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm inviting people to come out and walk the sand in Grand Haven or Muskegon or Ludington. It's a phenomenal workout just to be in this natural environment. And some of these people are your students. They are. We got to point they out are. the big fella didn't necessarily <laughs> get the body here from the diggity. Yes. He's been working in the gym. But you have a dedicated core I of do. people who are coming out over and over. And you've only been working on this for about eight or nine months. Eight right? or nine months, and I have a consistent group that come to my boot camp and we have a lot of fun but it's a phenomenal workout and you just have to really open your mind to a new experience. Now, are you the crazy trainer lady who's screaming or are we subtle when we do, uh, do this I would stuff? highly <laughs> classify myself as crazy in any level. <laughs> I am a very disciplined individual uh -huh. and I think my dedication is um, contagious. Okay. I don't bark at anybody, but I can. What sort of gains could we expect to see? Obviously, if you're starting off the first time, you're not putting any weight right, into it. Right. And then you load it up with sand, and the amount of sand that you are moving is like the amount of weight you're putting on the stack. Absolutely. Correct? It's a, a philosophy of body adaptation. Your body learns how to do anything you expose it to. And so what I want people to do is work at their own pace and gradually increase the endurance and the stamina of any workout. Um, the sand is your friend. You can put a little in or a lot, depending on what you want to get out of it. And this Saturday, you're doing your first uh, one of your freebies here. For this is a to come freebie out. demo coming up this Saturday from noon until two. I'll be right here on the city beach in the sand with the diggity. I would invite anybody who wants a fresh look at working out to come out and talk to me. And if we don't use one of these, I can introduce some ideas of what they can do at home on okay. their own. We're going to talk about some of the uh, other exercises you can do. Maybe do a basic workout when we come back, Michelle, and then talk about the origin of the diggity itself, what the original one may have looked like. Oh. It didn't look like this one. If you want more information on BFIT or the Diggity, we have a link on my Facebook page, on the Fox 17 Facebook page, as okay. well as fox17online.com. Okay, and I hope you're going to do some of those exercises. I will not be satisfied unless you participate. It's we'll do a couple. I'll do a couple of exercises. I'll do the push-ups for you, maybe. Oh, really? Should I do the push-ups later on? The we'll situation the guy, later on. the guy who looks like the uh, situation, he was doing kind of some fancy push-ups. I don't know if you saw him. Well, we'll see if I can match him on that right. one, Michelle. Looking forward to it.